our very special guest, the sports guy, Bill Simmons. Welcome, Bill. Well, thanks for having me on. Much like uh, C. Webb and Grant, as you know, I made a couple of NBA teams, and uh, it's good to be with those guys again. Right on the same level. Same height, too. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I feel. And here we can check out the story for Demonis Sabonis. And when you look at his rebounding numbers, I think the season is starting to wear him down a little bit. His numbers there have dipped over this month, but I'm sure he'll catch a much-needed second win soon. A look at the 76ers' starting group. Harris and Embiid make up the front court. Ben Simmons is out there with Matisse Thibel, and it's Green in at the three. And for Indiana, Sabonis and Turner are the four and the five. Karis LeVert is out there with Malcolm Brogdon, and it's Warren in at the small forward position. Bill, with the first round exit for the 76ers last year, do you think the championship window for this franchise has started to close? I would say no, because they still have two of And they made some mistakes. on a last second. Simmons that time. Mm. And B, comfortable. He's jumper. Doesn't hesitate once he got a look at him. out. Credit the deep for not giving up on that play. He's a tough cover down low. Brogdon, pass to Warren. Indiana again missing. Philadelphia has gone one for two from beyond the arc in this first quarter. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Fades back. Embiid missing again. I like what he was trying to do. Shake it with the fadeaway. Tough look. All right, Bill. What's the dumbest trade of the 2010s? The dumbest trade of the 2010s. The dumbest moment of the 2010s. And the dumbest thing that ever happened in the 2010s was Phoenix passing on Luka Doncic. Sacramento winning the lottery by having Phoenix pass on Luka Doncic. And then they say, screw it, we're taking Marvin back. And then Atlanta winning the lottery again by taking the, the third pick. And they're going to take Luka Doncic. No, they trade it. They, they trade it to Dallas and get an extra pick. Congratulations. Three teams pass on the best player of his generation, Luka Doncic. You all, you all did great work.
Yeah, they're hoping to turn things around with this timeout. Uh, yeah, they have to regroup and, and revisit their strategy at the defensive end. And first quarter. That's his first foul of the game. Now, Bill, this Pacers team changing coach. great but in this case you know Sabonis was unbelievable for them this season I thought he was one of the best 20 players that he looked like when they were healthy before he made the move good by he was one of the best four teams so I, I don't think there was any shame Timeout called, the Pacers. Failing to find a rhythm offensively. Something that needs to change and change soon. Yeah, they might be pressing a little. Forcing some pain. This is a good opportunity to calm everyone down. This run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been quite well. tonight. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. down the first one. He's known as a three-point specialist. I mean, Green is also an excellent perimeter defender. A great role guy who plays within himself. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Up 50. The Pelicans in New Orleans. Yeah, but it wasn't all about himself. I mean, he kept everybody else in the loop. His passing was tremendous. Trust me, in the 1980s, 
deal damage on the offensive glass. Warren, the pass. He has more than a few ways to punish. And here's Thibel. Substitution here for Indiana. Matadze's checked in for Turner. McDermott comes in for Warren. Lamb's checked in for Levert. And it's McConnell in for Brogdon. Howard's checked in for the Sixers. Curry comes in for Green. And he's good on the second. And the 2020 draft, the first time we saw the new flattened lottery odds. Bill, I know that was something you'd called for. Are you happy with the change? Yeah, I like that teams aren't rewarded for just throwing the season away. I still hated what the Sixers did when they threw away multiple years there. In the G League, I, I, I have a whole master plan. I'll spring it on to you maybe, maybe later this year. Holiday is checked in, and the 76ers making a change here. And how about the mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. I mean, perfection. That's about as good a defensive play as you'll see. Instant reaction to get a hand to that shot. Ten point game against the Pelicans in New Orleans. Coming in. <laughs> Terrific execution so far. Going for the jump. And what an aggressive move to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his team. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. to have you with us. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. A comfortable margin for the 76ers here, guys. Give it up for their D. They're battling, communicating, and coming up with key stops. No questions. It's stifling thus far, but then that offense from establishing any kind of rhythm. 
They put together a solid lead. And it doesn't seem like... See what's coming up for the Philadelphia 76ers. On Tuesday, they'll face off against John Wall and the Houston Rockets. Then on Friday, they'll be facing Al Horford and the Oklahoma City Thunder. And for their matchup with the Celtics, on paper, they should be expected to come away with a win. However, this might be one of those trap games if they aren't fully engaged. That one's off. All right, Bill, of the guys you thought would become a superstar, who comes to mind that hasn't quite gotten there yet? Towns, Carl Anthony Towns. I think he has everything you'd want as the stretch five, somebody that can post up, hit threes, defend the rim. You know, they, there's only a handful of guys like that in the league, if half a handful. And I don't feel like there's any excuse for him not to be able to happen at this spot. Yeah, they've gone way too long without. Quarter number two and about a minute in. And here's Levert. That's his first foul of the game. Some changes for Indiana. Sabonis comes in for McDermott. And Malcolm Brogdon is subbed in for Holiday. Set up from Simmons that time. Simmons has got three assists in the game. And one move ahead of the defense. A solid pick. And then the... Oh, come on, guys. Someone has to rotate... Kind of environment, every point matters. The bitch is a huge reason why they won Love watching Brogdon make the right reads. He's more than capable of converting catch and shoot opportunities. Harris outside. And Embiid gets the double team. From deep. Harris misses. The Pacers have gone one for six in the second quarter. Not great. Green against Warren. Pass to Sabonis. Second chance effort. Kicks it out to Warren. Launches it. Philadelphia grabs the miss. Embiid's Philadelphia has gone one of two from downtown here in the second. Outside Simmons. And here's Harris. Sinks that one from the post. Harris has got seven now in this quarter. Uh, uh, aggressive move by Harris. A little contact there. He just powers through it. Levert outside. Outside Brogdon. The shot. Yes, on the jumper. Brogdon's got five now. Well, they'll take that. They gotta find a better shot than that on their next trip. Left side, Simmons. Pass to Harris. Embiid, a screen on Sabonis. And there is a whistle. That goes on Tobias Harris. That's his first foul of the game. I love great defense. Just quick to establish his feet, and he takes 
outside. Outside Warren. And here's Brogdon. Simmons defending. Brogdon, the pass to Turner. Outside Brogdon. Connects on the 17-footer. Seven points in the game. I mean, it took him a long time to get into the flow of the game, but the points are Who's starting to come for him now. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Brian, with the pandemic, player workouts going into the draft were restricted. Instead, a lot of video chat interviews and even IQ tests. Players completing time for exercises, testing their memory and skills. Whether or not you believe the game is 90% mental, it's obviously an important component. It truly is. Thanks, Ali. Good stuff. Now here's Brogdon. Seven points in the game. The shot by Levert. No good. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Green for three. And the three-pointer goes. And the 76ers lead by 18. What's impressive about Green is for his career, he's shooting well over 40% from the arc. And until he starts knocking down some shots, I don't think the deficit's going to get any small. Brogdon, the pass to Levert. Sabonis outside. Out to the right wing. Four on the clock. The three is up. Rebounded by Green. The 76ers have gone four for seven in the second quarter. To the middle. Here's Embiid. And then Embiid with the dunk. And that's one of the main strengths of Simmons' game. His vision, his ability to find open teammates. That's the most impressive thing about his game. And the Pacers call time here. And he's been trying to do it all himself. And, and it's not working. Instead of forcing shots, you got to focus on moving the ball and keeping everybody involved. And it's McConnell in for Levert. Back to Sabonis. Pass to Brogdon. Curry. Here's Batadze, guarded by Well, part of the game plan was to neutralize the crowd. And guess what? Mission accomplished. The charge. Some changes for Indiana. McDermott's checked in for Sabonis. And Holiday subbed in for Brogdon.
on the assist from Curry. They're winning the battle down low by imposing their will. Dwight Howard picks one up. Well, that was clearly a foul. Two shots. That free throw, no good. Second free throw, no good. Curry's got eight. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. You see this all. Two points. Such a good in-between game. Land with the natural instincts. And their offensive execution has really picked up here in the second period. the game clock. Harris against Lamb. Here's Harris. 17 points for him. Last game against the Heat in Miami. They get it back. He got it up. No good on the buzzer beater. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. Sixers ahead, just dominating this one. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Joel, the reserves have been awesome so far. What are you seeing from them? Uh, the bench has helped us a lot. They've, they've come in, they've scored the ball, they've got to stop, so we're going to need them to keep it going. Helps to have backup. Good luck in the second half. Thanks very much, Ali. And folks, we'll be right back to start the second half of this game. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. It's the NBA on 2K Sports, and let's talk the first half. Now we know that Joel Embiid is one of the best centers in the league, but Shaq, I ask you, as the resident big man expert, what does Embiid do better than everyone else right now? Well, for a player his size, the amount of skill he has is very unfair. He's one of the most skilled bigs since Akeem of the Dream. Elijah Wan, the last man to embarrass me. Well, Embiid, you know, he's a top defender, and he's still deep on that defensive end, and you can't sleep on him, I tell you. But you know what? I used to be a big man initially. I was. I was. I used to play a big man in, in like, middle school. I play, And then I became, like, a point forward, and then I became a small forward, then I became the point guard. I, never, I skipped right over the two-guard position. Somebody got the siren that they I'm can I'm just sound. letting you know. Woo! Yeah. No, man. Don't hate me because I played most of Green middle school. <laughs> and it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. And as we dive into the second half, We'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it's been a runaway. Tobias Harris really making a difference here. They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense, and that's how he likes it. This game has his fingerprints all over it. Now looking to replicate what he did in the first half. Just about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Warren Back to green.
outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. An emphatic rejection. You gotta appreciate that kind of forceful defense. And about a minute of action so far in the third quarter. Just three to shoot. Who's here? And it goes out of bounds. That one off Simmons. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Demonis Sabonis. And his scoring numbers have been moving in the right direction these past few years. He's continued to get better at adjusting to what opposes buckets by any means necessary. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. No, man, the defenders have to be more cautious regarding Harris. He is constantly looking to draw contact on his shots. And you look at Tobias Harris. I mean, he's right at the cusp of being an all-star. Great numbers from him starting to hit his stride. Just needs one good year to make that jump to the next level. First one falls for him. You know, with Harris, he's a bit of a jack-of-all-trades, Chris. Yeah, Harris gives you a little bit of everything when he's on the floor. Not fantastic at any one aspect, but good and solid all around. And, and that's not a knock. Team needs players like that. What's wrong with consistency? And that's good as he hits both shots. After a quality year, as a team volunteer. Six on the shot clock. And he lobs it up to the rim. And defense gives. Indiana calls timeout. You know, everybody falls in love with how Ben Simmons creates on offense. But as a defender, see Webb, he's top notch as well. Oh, yeah. Simmons has a great sense of Coming up with steel back. Let it frame. Let him guard anybody. The kind of player that erases mismatches.
Warren, the pass. That's his first foul of the game. Against the bonus. Outside to Levert. get worse if he keeps throwing up shots like that. Lamb's checked in for Warren. Howard's checked in for the Sixers. Curry comes in for Green. Position, effective at creating space for himself near the basket. McDermott's checked in for Indiana. Helps to play a little defense. Too. Oh, yeah, that helps. Too. <laughs> the Pacers making a switch here. McConnell's checked in. One shot. One shot. Free throw drops for Sabonis. Curry's got 10 points in the game. Even with the D giving him a lot of attention, he's still finding ways to light up. Second chance shot. And finished off by Embiid inside. Embiid's got six points in the quarter. Well, how about the length of Embiid? I mean, it's tough to deal with. Outstanding using it to gobble up offensive rebounds. Pass to Maxi. Howard in the high post. Here's Korkmaz. Now here's Curry. Now here's Embiid. He's guarded by Sabonis. Here's Maxi. The rebound by Turner. Maxi's gone two for six from the floor so far. Now McConnell. Pass to Sabonis. Here's McDermott. McDermott's gotten his second bucket of the game. Philadelphia shooting only 40% from the floor in this game. Here's Maxi. He's marked by McConnell. Next up. Goes back up. Deflected. Here's Lamb. Taking a look at his numbers. Averaging about 11 a game. He takes it in. Lamb's gotten just one of his seven shots to go. There's a minute 47 left to play in the third quarter of basketball. Embiid. Pacers with a rebound. Turner's got his seventh rebound here tonight. The Pacers shooting just 21% from the floor. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. 
Pass to McConnell. And here's Howard. Here's Maxie. We've got 108 left in the third quarter of the game. Inside. Here's Curry. That shot, no good. Ooh, excellent D there from Turner. And it's the Pacers for the ball. The drive by Lamb. Oh, stolen by Embiid. Fast break, Philadelphia. Pulls up for three. Philadelphia, the rebound. Pass to Korkmaz. Not enough on that one as it misses. That's a break for the D right there. I mean, he takes advantage of open looks inside more often than not. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Lamb. Embiid covers. Just five on the clock. That's a good average. Nice fluidity and quickness. Lamb can draw fouls when he's pushing the action. At the line, New York Pacers, Jeremy Lamb. And he drops it first. Now after that great college tournament, we all remember Jeremy Lamb performing in. Lamb was drafted 12th overall by the Rockets, but his career had a bit of a seesaw for a while. Gets them both. Physical and overwhelms the defense with his size and muscle. And as we conclude, a one sided affair. Sixers ahead, running away with this one. And we're just moments away from the start of quarter number four. Stay with us. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. You talk about painting a magnificent picture with that, Don. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. How about the unselfishness? Night in and night out, we see guys trying to force their own agenda. Not that time. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same for the first three quarters. And the 76ers, look at who they've got. He's out there with Matisse Thibel. Tony Bradley out there with Shake Milton. And it's Poirier in at the four. Well, Grant, the game's tempo seems to increase each year. You think there's a point at which it'll snap back to the other direction? You know, B.A., that's a great point. I mean, I think back to the 90s when I played, and the game was at a snail's pace. It was a grinded-out defensive battle. And slowly over the years, the tempo has picked up. As you said, each and every year it's increased. But I do think at some point, it, the pendulum will swing back and we'll get back to a little bit more uh, of, you know, a little bit less pace in terms of this, how the game is played. I don't think we're there yet, but we're getting close. Uh, the game constantly evolves in some form or fashion, and I believe that we'll kind of get back to maybe a little bit more of a slower pace at some point in the future. Yeah, the kind of game we see in the playoffs. Exactly. Holiday hit. Going up. <laughs> Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that side. First free throw is good. 
Both teams will make substitutions. Six to shoot. And here's Harris. He's covered by Holiday. Harris is lethal around the ring. Damn! This is why you must get Simmons out the paint because he's fantastic when it comes to talking. of the doubt enough when they go up vertically. Well, this is an offensive man game. He definitely uh, is giving advantage to the offensive players. And, and, and as a defender, so what? Uh, you know, you keep going. But you do play a price as a defender, absorbing the contact. But, you know, sacrificing your body, if you ask most defenders, it should be rewarded, not punished. He's off on the first. Staring at this deficit, they're trying to be more aggressive and get themselves to the line. Turner, he's checked in for Levert. And he sinks the second. Well, as the league addressed social justice, the big action item became voting. Getting people to the poll. Line for a pair. And the thing about TJ Warren, he's such a patient scorer on the floor. He looks for shots that he knows that he can make. He's really a walking bucket as long as he's healthy. And he makes a first. Well, as you mentioned, Grant, health a concern for T.J. Warren throughout his career. And B.A., I know a thing or two about health. He has learned to do more with fewer touches the last few seasons. Warren's also worked on his D to be more disruptive. I like this kid. And he makes both free throws. He logs his first three of the second half after nearly two in the first. They don't want to let this fella get. Harris has got ten points in just the second half. Back to back threes. Making. didn't have a sophisticated method of managing players' minutes. ...tackle and important to a team. You factor in 82 games, uh, travel, getting in late at night on the road, guys working out year-round. It's so important to 
think big picture as players uh, go throughout their career. So load management, the sophistication that's applied now is so important and critical. And I'm a little jealous that they had that back in the day. Having players available in crunch time and extending careers. <laughs> Man, the defender really went after him. Miles Turner at the one for two. And he can't get the first one. and how it affects teams moving forward. That yeah. For many, many years, you only get better a few ways. Trades and through the NBA draft lottery. And so if you're not a good team, chances are you're not going to sign a good player and you're not going to be able to trade for a good player. So the best way is through the NBA draft to give yourself some time as an organization and hope over the long haul you have a chance for great success. Yo, check Simmons. Outside Simmons. Pass to Harris. A shot to stop the drill, and Harris throws it down. Oh, what a night for Tobias Harris, and he's capable of doing this. When he's right, he can carry it. Left side Warren, and the basket is good. Nice move to get inside and create a good look for himself. The 76ers shooting just 38% here in the fourth. Here's Simmons. Here's Howard. Tries yet again. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. And they'll give that one to Miles Turner. An absolute powerhouse down there. Howard attacks with such ferocity. It makes defenders nervous. Well, we've heard discussions around the league. They may be shortening seasons, Grant, but how about shortening games? You know, we saw that in the bubble in the exhibition games where they went to 10-minute quarters. Whoa, slow down here. Look, VA, I am all about shortening the season. The season is definitely very long and taxing on players. Uh, and I'm all about evolving and being innovative as our game continues to grow. But shortening games, no. 48 minutes, you must keep it there. I'm a firm believer that you must keep the games at 48 minutes. So he can't get either to fall. Always an advantage. Holiday with the ball. And Howard picks him up defensively. With each year, Grant, it seems like we see more and more great players coming out of Europe. And that's so true, B.A. I mean, think about some of these great young stars, Doncic or Jokic and others. I mean, it speaks to how the game has become a global game. The NBA has marketed and sold this game all over the world for years, and now we're seeing the benefit of those efforts. And I'll tell you what. Over 25% of the players in the league right now were born outside of the U.S. So it just illustrates the growth of the game, the success of the game, and the elite players from all over the world playing in the NBA today. Clock at six. Pass to Patadze. With the fadeaway. And no good. The 76ers go the other way with it. Outside Milton. Takes it inside. Off target from outside. Indiana's got 0 for 3 here in the fourth. Outside Holiday. Incredible 
athleticism on display on a nightly basis. Guys getting up so high. See, Webb, I've got one for you. Some say it's not a dunk if your hands don't touch the rim. Did you buy that? Uh, yeah. I am buying it. You know, some people think if you throw it through the net, it's a dunk. No, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm old school with the dunk. You know, I, I, I can debate you and maybe some people can change my mind. It's some pretty plays, but no, I mean, you got to dunk it if not. Powerful one-handed slam. Oh, nothing soft about that. Was not going to be denied. Just took the dunk that was right in front of him. Yeah, guys, but where was the box out? No excuse letting him roam that freely on the glass. Pass to Sumner. On the wing, Holiday. Shoots it from the corner. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Here's Maxi. A minute 53 left in the fourth quarter. Over Holiday. No good. A bit long that time. And for Indiana, they're shooting 27% here in the fourth. Pass to Holiday. Here's Sumner. Holiday with the ball. On the take. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. It's safe to say they have dominated this game. The game wasn't even as close as the score says in a great win for the 76ers. And it was a big-time performance across the board. They looked like they were having fun out there, Grant. <laughs> yeah, B.A., it was almost like watching a cat play with a mouse. I mean, they did pretty much anything they wanted to do out there today. The free throws off from Holiday. In an era of social media, Grant, even referees are jumping in, trying to illustrate to fans why certain calls are made, where you stand on. It's all about transparency, B.A. Look, they don't come over to clarify these calls because they like it. We're pretty good guys. Well, you are. But it's all about the theme of the NBA, being transparent, making sure the fans at home understand uh, why a call is made. I love it. I think it's a fantastic uh, addition that the league has made. Well, we saw it in the bubble, the way they're explaining calls, and with an open mic, not just for us to relay the information, but now we can hear it directly from the official. Pass to Poirier. Here's Korkmaz. Late clock. The Sixers need to put one up here. Ooh, tough break there. Shot after shot. They couldn't get anything to fall. Here's Sumner. Outside Holiday. Hey, expanding his range. The shot by Sumner, no good. There's 37 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Here's Korkmaz. He's covered by Holiday. Floats one up. Here's Bradley. And he jams it home with authority. Yeah, they blocked out the noise, blocked out the distractions, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. Showing remarkable poise and focus uh, throughout the game, a sustained effort across the board. Offensive board. Off target at the rim. Winning this one easily. Boy, this crowd has to be shocked by the way their team was dismantled. Now, shocked and surprised. It doesn't matter what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to just waltz in and cruise to the type of victory like we saw tonight. And that'll do it, folks. For Chris Weber, Ali LaForce, and Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson. Thank you for tuning in to watch the NBA on 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.